It's easy for men to fall into the trap of chasing women. The pursuit of romance often turns into an exhausting and sometimes desperate endeavor. But what if I told you there was a better way to approach relationships? What if you could find happiness and contentment without chasing after someone's affection? This quest for understanding leads us to the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that can help you keep your cool, gain perspective, and cultivate respectful relationships. Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy, provides a framework for living a life guided by reason, virtue, and self-control. It has stood the test of time because of its applicability to various aspects of life, including relationships. In this video, we will explore how the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, one of the most renowned Stoic philosophers, can inspire you to rethink the way you approach women, love, and the pursuit of happiness. Understanding the Pursuit To understand why chasing women may not be the best approach, let's first delve into the psychology behind it. Many men feel compelled to chase women due to societal pressures, evolutionary instincts, or personal insecurities. Society often glorifies the idea of the relentless hunter who relentlessly pursues the object of their affection. This glorification can lead men to feel as though they must constantly prove themselves through extravagant displays of affection, relentless pursuit, and even manipulation. But Stoicism teaches us to take a step back, to pause, and to reflect on the consequences of our actions. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, had much to say on the topic of desire and pursuit. He wrote in his Meditations, Despise not death, but welcome it, for nature wills it like all else. In the context of pursuing women, this could be interpreted as a reminder that we must accept the natural course of events and not force them. Desperation and relentless pursuit often lead to unintended consequences, including damaged self-esteem, strained relationships, and unfulfilled desires. The Stoic Path to Contentment In Stoicism, the ultimate goal is not the chase of external objects, such as women, but rather the cultivation of inner strength and resilience. By focusing on what is within our control, we can find contentment and happiness, regardless of external circumstances. This philosophy encourages us to shift our focus from trying to change others or our environment to transforming ourselves. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic par excellence, provides invaluable guidance on this path to inner transformation. He encourages us to waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. In the context of relationships, this means becoming the best version of ourselves, rather than trying to mold someone else into our ideal partner. Instead of chasing women, focus on self-improvement, honing your character, and becoming a man of virtue and integrity. Virtue in Relationships Stoicism places a strong emphasis on virtue, living in accordance with reason and moral principles. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This principle is especially relevant when it comes to relationships. Instead of chasing women, strive to cultivate virtue within yourself. Practice wisdom, justice, courage, and self-discipline. These virtues will not only make you a better person but will also make you more attractive to potential partners. Rather than pursuing women, allow them to be drawn to the qualities that virtuous living cultivates. Embracing self-control. One of the key teachings of Stoicism is the importance of self-control. The ability to manage your desires and emotions is central to living a Stoic life. It is essential to refrain from pursuing women out of impulse, neediness, or instant gratification. Marcus Aurelius wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In the context of relationships, this means recognizing that you can control your reactions and emotions, even if you can't control the actions or feelings of others. By practicing self-control, you can maintain your composure and emotional stability, which is essential in any relationship, respecting autonomy. Chasing women often involves ignoring their autonomy and desires, as the focus is on your own needs and desires. Stoicism, on the other hand, teaches us to respect the autonomy and individuality of others. In his Meditations, 
Marcus Aurelius writes, Everything is right for me which is right for you, O universe. Nothing for me is too early or too late, which comes in due time for you. This insight reminds us that we are part of a larger cosmic order, and our desires should align with that order. Instead of chasing women, we should respect their choices and boundaries. The Art of Patience In the pursuit of women, impatience can be a significant stumbling block. The desire for instant gratification often leads to impulsive actions and ill-considered decisions. Stoicism advocates for patience, reminding us that some things are worth waiting for. As Marcus Aurelius wisely stated, the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Instead of chasing women impulsively, be patient and allow time to reveal the true nature of your compatibility and connection. Rejection and Stoicism Rejection is a common and often painful experience in the world of dating and relationships. Many men take rejection as a personal blow to their self-esteem, leading to anger, sadness, and frustration. Stoicism offers a different perspective on rejection. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. This Stoic teaching encourages us to reframe rejection. Instead of seeing it as a failure or an attack on your self-worth, view it as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Rejection does not define your value as a person. It is merely a part of the natural ebb and flow of life. The Importance of Perspective Stoicism emphasizes the importance of maintaining a rational and balanced perspective on life's challenges and triumphs. In the realm of relationships, this means not attaching your happiness to the outcome of your pursuit of women. Marcus Aurelius wrote, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This perspective reminds us that life is a gift, and our happiness should not depend on external factors. Instead of chasing women as a means to an end, find happiness in the present moment, and the relationships you already have. Building Meaningful Connections Stoicism teaches us that the most meaningful and lasting connections come from authenticity and mutual respect. Rather than chasing women, strive to build genuine and deep relationships. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. In the context of relationships, this means being authentic and genuine in your interactions with women. Be the best version of yourself, and you will naturally attract those who appreciate and value you for who you are. The Power of Contentment Stoicism places a strong emphasis on finding contentment within ourselves, rather than seeking it in external objects. This perspective can dramatically change the way we approach relationships. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. In the context of relationships, this means that chasing women in the hope of finding happiness is a futile endeavor. True contentment comes from within, from cultivating a mindset of gratitude and acceptance. Freedom from attachment One of the core teachings of Stoicism is the idea of freedom from attachment to external things. This concept is particularly relevant to the pursuit of women. Marcus Aurelius wrote, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. In the context of relationships, this means that seeking revenge or retribution when faced with rejection or disappointment is not the stoic way. Instead, practice freedom from attachment, letting go of the need for external validation and finding strength in self-sufficiency. The Stoic Approach to Love Stoicism provides a unique perspective on love and relationships. It encourages us to cultivate a love that is virtuous, selfless, and enduring. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, the best way to avenge yourself is to not be like that. In the context of love, this means rising above the petty games and dramas often associated with dating and relationships. Instead of seeking revenge or manipulation, practice a love that is based on respect, understanding, and selflessness. Embracing Stoicism in Practice Now that we've explored the Stoic principles that can guide you away from chasing women and toward a more fulfilling approach to relationships, 
let's delve into practical steps to implement these teachings in your life. Number 1. Self-Reflection Start by taking time for self-reflection. This practice is a cornerstone of Stoicism, and it's essential for understanding your own motivations, desires, and weaknesses. Spend time thinking about your past relationships and the patterns you've noticed. Why did they succeed or fail? What were your expectations and how did they affect the outcome? Understanding your own thought processes and emotions will help you make more rational decisions in the future. Number 2. Practice Self-Improvement As Marcus Aurelius advised, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. B1. Channel your energy into self-improvement. Work on becoming the best version of yourself, not to impress others but to live a life of virtue and inner strength. Pursue hobbies, education, and personal growth that fulfill you and build your character. Number 3. Develop Patience Impatience often drives the pursuit of women, leading to hasty decisions and actions. To overcome this, practice patience in all aspects of your life. Recognize that the best things come to those who wait. Patience allows you to make more thoughtful and rational decisions, especially in the realm of relationships. Number 4. Cultivate Gratitude In the pursuit of women, it's easy to focus on what you lack rather than what you have. Shift your perspective by practicing gratitude. As Marcus Aurelius emphasized, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Take a moment each day to reflect on the things you are grateful for. This practice can help you find contentment within yourself and reduce the need to chase external validation. Number 5. Respect Autonomy In your interactions with women, always respect their autonomy and choices. It's crucial to acknowledge that everyone has their own desires and paths in life. Instead of trying to change someone's mind or make them conform to your wishes, Respect their individuality. If a person is not interested, move on graciously and without resentment. Number 6. Reframe Rejection As we discussed earlier, rejection is a part of life, and it doesn't define your worth. When faced with rejection, practice the stoic mindset of reframing it as an opportunity for growth. Use it as a chance to strengthen your resilience and self-control. Rejection doesn't reflect your character or value as a person. It's merely a circumstance that can help you learn and improve. Number 7. Build Meaningful Connections Shift your focus from pursuing women to building meaningful connections. Approach each interaction with authenticity and respect. Be genuine and show interest in the person you are connecting with. Building a solid foundation based on mutual respect and understanding will lead to more satisfying, and lasting relationships. Number 8. Let go of external validation. Stoicism teaches us the importance of finding validation within ourselves rather than seeking it from external sources. Free yourself from the need for constant approval or attention. Cultivate self-sufficiency and inner strength so you don't have to chase validation through relationships or external sources. Number 9. Practice emotional control. Develop the ability to control your emotions and reactions. Stoicism places great importance on maintaining composure and rationality, even in challenging situations. When it comes to relationships, emotional control will help you navigate complex dynamics with grace and integrity. Number 10. Pursue virtuous love. Embrace the stoic idea of virtuous love. This means focusing on love that is based on wisdom, justice, courage, and self-discipline. Make it your aim to develop a love that is grounded in respect, selflessness, and moral principles rather than the pursuit of fleeting pleasures. The Stoic Perspective on Long-Term Relationships While we've explored how Stoicism can guide you away from chasing women and towards a more balanced approach to dating, it's equally valuable to consider how these teachings can shape long-term relationships. After all, Successful long-term relationships require a commitment to the same stoic principles that we've discussed so far. Number 1. Embrace Virtue In Stoicism, virtue is at the heart of living a good life. To apply this in long-term relationships, ensure that your actions and decisions are guided by wisdom, 
justice, courage, and self-discipline. The goal is to be a virtuous partner and to seek a similar virtuous character in your significant other. Number 2. Maintain self-control. Self-control is essential not just during the pursuit of women, but throughout the course of a long-term relationship. Your ability to manage emotions, especially during conflicts and challenges, is vital. Stoicism teaches you to take a step back, assess the situation rationally, and respond with self-control rather than impulsiveness. Number 3. Cultivate Patience Long-term relationships inevitably bring challenges and difficulties. Stoicism emphasizes patience as a virtue. You must accept that not everything will go your way, and some issues may take time to resolve. Patience allows you to weather storms and appreciate the process of growth in your relationship. Number 4. Respect Autonomy Just as you respect the autonomy of women in the pursuit of relationships, continue to honor the autonomy and individuality of your partner in a long-term relationship. Healthy relationships are based on mutual respect and support for each other's choices and life paths. Number 5. Handle Rejection Gracefully even in long-term relationships, rejection can take different forms, such as disagreements, differing opinions, or changes in feelings. Stoicism encourages you to handle rejection or setbacks gracefully, using them as opportunities for personal growth and improvement, both individually and as a couple. Number 6. Nurture Meaningful Connections as your relationship progresses, continue to build on the foundation of meaningful connections, open and honest communication, shared values, and mutual respect are the cornerstones of a healthy long-term relationship. Strive for a partnership that remains genuine and fulfilling over time. Number 7. Find Contentment Within Stoicism teaches that true contentment comes from within, regardless of external circumstances. In a long-term relationship, this means you should not rely on your partner to provide constant happiness or fulfillment. Instead, continue to cultivate contentment within yourself and share that sense of inner peace with your partner. Number 8. Maintain freedom from attachment. Long-term relationships can sometimes lead to an unhealthy level of attachment, which can be detrimental to both individuals. Stoicism advises maintaining a sense of freedom from attachment to external factors, even when deeply committed to a relationship. This freedom allows you to love your partner without being dependent on them for your happiness. Number 9. Embrace Stoic Love In a long-term relationship, Stoicism encourages you to practice what we could call Stoic Love. This type of love is characterized by selflessness, understanding, and a commitment to the well-being of your partner. It is a love that transcends mere desire and aims for the betterment of both individuals involved. Number 10. Continue Emotional Control The ability to control your emotions remains paramount in a long-term relationship. While the initial stages may be filled with passion, the long haul will test your emotional stability. Stoicism equips you with the tools to maintain composure and rationality even in the face of complex relationship dynamics. As you navigate long-term relationships, the stoic principles you've learned about offer an invaluable guide to maintaining a fulfilling, respectful, and enduring partnership. The teachings of Marcus Aurelius underscore the importance of virtue, self-control, patience, respect, and emotional composure. Incorporate these stoic ideals into your daily life to create a lasting relationship founded on mutual growth, respect, and a profound connection. By doing so, you'll not only avoid the need to chase after fleeting desires, but also build a relationship that brings lasting joy and contentment. Embrace the stoic path to love and relationships, and remember the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who said, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By applying these stoic teachings, you can nurture a fulfilling, enduring, and virtuous long-term relationship where you find happiness within and share it with your partner.